Paris in the fall. The last months of the year at the turn of the millennium. I don't know what any of that actually means. That's me. I'm George Stobart. I'm a brash American. And I'm a lawyer. Clearly the fine people revolution software wanted you all to hate me. Let me tell you something about clowns. They'll blow your shit up. As I pick myself up, all I can hear is the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me. Except for this guy. He's dead for sure. I poked my head inside to check the carnage. The pretty blonde was unconscious. It really pissed me off because I had a hankering for another cappuccino. The inspector came. Some guy named Russo. Real asshole. He gave me the third degree. But I know how to handle myself. Need I to remind you that I'm a lawyer? An American lawyer? You know, people often ask me why I'd spend my vacation risking life and risking limb chasing after a murderous clown. Well, there's your answer. Oh. Nico Collard, a stone cold fox. She told me that this clown is a serial killer. She also told me that she and I are simply business. I intended to test that theory. My first thought to bust this case open was to check the sewer, because mathematically speaking, 97.3% of crap ends up down there. And this clown was no exception. I spent the next hour filling up my trousers with stolen goods, impersonating police, and following leads. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, okay. What an asshole. I barged into Nico's flat without knocking because, huh, I'm an American. Bonjour. Got her up to speed and she did the same. I decided to go to the police station and file a report. But they weren't having it. What kind of world do we live in where a person can't falsely accuse a costume shop owner of indecent exposure? I caught a few breaks, tracked a few things down, and it led me to a man with a facial scar at a nice, upscale hotel. This is where the killer's staying. Excuse moi, monsieur. What? You are trying to steal that key, no? The desk manager no. tried to run me, but I wasn't having any of that. See that lady? Playing the piano? Her fingers sound nice striking those keys, but her mouth... That's something different. She was a real Karen. I see! You there! Flunky! Listen carefully. And I took advantage of the situation to rob a key from the key hook. Here I was, finally, in the murderer's room. I watched the man get naked and robbed him of his valuables. This was a nice room. It'd be a shame if I left a stinky in the toity. And so I did. Once back in Nico's apartment, we examined the booty stolen from Scarface, an ancient manuscript that told the history of the Knights Templar. More importantly, it appeared to be some sort of map in the form of a riddle. We needed professional help. Lucky for us, the museum magically became available on my map. The museum led to Ireland, and Ireland led to a pub. Top of the morning to ya! Spent a couple hours getting yucky with the boys. I'm an angry drunk. That guy in the yellow, he learned that. Show me what's in the package, Sean. I can't do that. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. He wasn't giving me what I wanted, so I ran him over my car. I couldn't afford to pay for my tab, so I had to offer my services as an electrician. Wait, but you're a lawyer. I convinced him that I was an electrician. I uh, heard that place burnt down shortly after that. Anywho. Stole a gem, broke into the castle, killed a goat, uh. and made my way down to Templar history. Back at the museum, I met some guy named Lavino. A real sleazy type. The type of guy who would give a friend a pair of sexy red panties. 
but I wasn't planning on becoming his friend, so heck, why not use his help solving this mystery? Now, I'm not saying that I enjoy being an asshole, but I am saying that I enjoy stirring a few drinks. And what happened next? <laughs> Let's just say that a few drinks got stirred at the hospital. Pretending to be a doctor and diagnosing patients incorrectly may have caused irreparable harm. But the whole case and my chance at coitus hung in the balance. I wasn't going to let the health of a few sick men and women stand in my way. And lucky I did, because I learned some things. Some things about swords being reforged and the fate of a lot of people. And, um... Well, I, I, guess I guess I really wasn't paying all that much attention. I regrouped in Nico's apartment and gave her the details of what I learned. You know, between you and me, I was starting to have second thoughts about our partnership. I was the one hopping from country to country, working my ass off, lying, stealing, drinking, and quite possibly killing my way to the answers. All she was doing was chilling at home, playing world. What's worse is, I was starting to believe that she was serious about us being strictly business. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Well, it's mostly there, but... Have you tried these things? These things are great. I mean, my waistline doesn't like them, but my mouth, mmm, magnifique. That's French for, it's freaking delicious. After a few hours of destruction and clowning about uh, solving clues, I found myself in the Paris catacombs. But more important than that, I found the meeting place of the bad guys. As you might imagine, they explained the whole plan while I eavesdropped. Anyway, so I went back at the... Wait, aren't you going to tell us about the plan? The plan? No. Yeah. The, the, these people were, uh... They're influential leaders of industry. Their plan was to infiltrate governments and corporations and destabilize them. Find some sort of befamid. But I had a leg up on them. I knew where to go. M-A-R-I-B. These guys were crazy and dangerous, but I'm a mythical knight. Wait, oh, that, oh, that was a different game. Hey there, young fella. Speaky you the English? Speaker you the Anglaise? Uh, Parlez-vous Anglais? Yes, si, and indeed we. Oui. And rather better than you by the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I climbed up a random mountain and stuck my hand in a random hole, and a random cave wall opened up. Is that Indiana Jones? Is that a wiener? A narrow escape. Damn, I'm good. At this point, I've been blown up, explored the sewers, hiked for hours in the Syrian mountains, and soiled myself during my death-defying escape. I was starting to stink. Yeah definitely need to change my clothes. But I didn't, because this is an adventure game, and I like the smell of my own stench. <laughs> um, that leads me to a place called Villa de Vasconcelos. The villa housed a trusting lady, a murderous gardener, hungry dogs, and a cursed family history. Now, this is one of the most memorable chapters in all of my adventures. I solved a pantload of Templar clues, poked and prodded the grounds looking for a wall. I took my time, walking, poking, taking my time, taking my sweet ass time. I could feel the Templar history. Also, I was able to bring closure to the family. George Stobart, champion of the Vasconcelos. <laughs> 
Oh, very funny, you psychos. George, welcome back. I'm not here getting shot at, being hosed down by a guy called Lopez, playing chess with 700-year-old corpses, and Nico and this turtlenecker playing house. That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? He started it. That's that lawyer degree coming in handy. Right there. Yeah. Hey, Andre. Get the f*** out of here. While on a train heading to acquire this broken sword, we had a cozy little cab shared with a gruff Grammy with an Adam's apple. We all got to know each other well. Emotions were high. Sparks were flying. Passion. Hell of a time to have to take a dump. Jesus Christ. I just can't get away from these oh, guys. No. There was Guido. He was there to kill us. Worse than that, he was blocking the bathroom. After soiling myself, I went back to Nico to find out just how much she loved me, and gone. I had to get her back. Th there she is, and holy Jesus, that old lady wasn't a lady? It was gone. Apparently we've been on the same side all along. Could have fooled me. That's when Khan explained that those other Templars were trying to get a power that was once possessed by the old Templars. A power that could take over the world, influence people. Power of charisma. <laughs> Stay to the end and I'll tell you what Khan told me with his last dying words. Nico's hands were tired, so I took a little trip to France. One of the most robotic and awkward moments in gaming history, I came to realize that we both ate Chinese food at the airport. Lucky for us, I had randomly pulled the train break at the perfect time. Here we go. We made it. It's time to crack this safe. It's time to put an end to all this and claim the lost Templar treasure. Damn. Then the handle came off in my hand. That's it. The end. Goddamn door would budge. No, it's just a prank, bro! And holy crap! Did he just stab himself? Did he just get electrocuted? Did his neck just explode? Did he get shot? Who drew this? Oh, is that C4? Nico's apartment. You want to know what Khan's final words were to me? He pulled me in real close and he said, George, like and subscribe. <laughs>